my god, he said the N-word. Yeah, he did. And we finna get into it, y'all. But first, <laughs> intro. Yo, it's me, your boy, JJV. Bam! What is good, Great White Gang? What is good, Cree Squad fam? It is your boy, Jason JV, saying welcome to another review, Vidya. Because, yes, I did give this a once over. And uh, this comes to us courtesy of uh, a YouTuber who goes by the name of Chill Rock. Shout out to Chill Rock. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and subscribe to the dude. Because I want to check out more of his content. Um, my man was courteous enough to uh, provide us with this video. This is uh, this video is called Upchurch Response After Watching Reactors React to Y Boys, which is the Tom McDonald disc. Will Tom respond? And you may have heard in, a, in the opening bumper, I made a reference to Church dropping the end bomb uh, in his diss track. Um, and that's because my man actually addresses. Um, the, the, the use of the word and some of the reactors who reacted to the word. And uh, once we get through all of that, I will give my take on the N word. Some of you may be surprised by my take. Some of you may not, depending on who you are. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, let's go ahead and jump right into this vidya by liking the hit hit. I will take on every motherfucking body that has. Facts. My, and my man has proven that. As your back. I will take on any fucking body that has your back. I will take on everybody. And not only will he take on everybody, but as I mentioned in the previous video, Creek Squad, you know what I'm saying, will take on Tom and anyone who has his back. Again, shout out to the Creek Squad and the Great White Gang, you know what I'm saying, for having my back in my comment section, you know what I'm saying? Much love, y'all. Cheers. All right, let's get back into this. One on one, I will take on everybody. And I will slay every fucking one of y'all. And I believe it. And no offense, Chill Rock, but we're going to skip the uh, intro. I see what Church did there. See, when I said, hey, Tom McDonald, you did this, the limits looking ass nigga. A lot of people say, oh, oh, no, oh, no. You know I'm not that kind of a black reactor. You know, <laughs> you are at the wrong place. Why is it that one reactor that I've seen a white dude with a massive platform and said that he didn't like that he used that, you know, is he, he was questioning why was he using the word? Number one, it didn't even match anything. He said you, this is what Up Church said you. Dennis the man is looking as N word. He had to con he had to consciously go in the studio and write that word. He'll be late, he'll be late. So yeah, um, <clears throat> some reactors do address other reactors certain reactors as my man address i guess there were some white reactors that had a problem with church dropping an m bomb you know what i'm saying and again i'll get into my stance on the m the use of the m bomb after uh, everyone gives their take I ain't even gonna lie. I'm gonna give a slight spoiler in my take. See, this is why I don't have a problem with the use of the N word. Because you have members of the black community who don't have a problem with it. You know what I'm saying? And that's what's up. I don't give a fuck, he said, nigga, bo. If I was mm -hmm. born with church, that's my nigga. That's my nigga. Hey, talk that shit, nigga. <laughs> Facts, let's go. Cook 
if he's about to fly out of his Multiple seat. Multiple things happened here that I did not see coming. <clears throat> what the fuck? I, did I not just say no name dropping? He casually drops the N-word too? What am I missing here? What happened over the last couple weeks? I'm fighting YouTube and next thing I know this is happening? Hey, fuck yeah, hey, uh, prayers for Cliff, uh, Cliff Beats, man, because, yeah, my man being, being done dirty, and, and it's not right, man, it's, it's, it's just not cool, <clears throat> I'm just saying, man, let's go. Then it's the minute smoking ass nigga. Tom McDonald. Whoa, what he said, nigga, oh, sir. Ain't nobody fucking this with me, He's snapping. Just look. <laughs> Tom McDonald, you Dennis the Menace looking ass nigga. <laughs> My man, he was showing the picture of Dennis the Menace from the '90s Dennis the Menace movie, which is a very funny movie. If you never seen De Dennis the Menace from from the from the '90s, I would encourage y'all to watch it, man. It's a very funny movie. Church might be up or in in round one if Tom come back because I don't think Tom gonna say nigga in his bar. I ain't even Pete because it's that fire. And speaking of Tom McDonald. In regards to the N word, and being that we're in the month of February, uh, my man did put out a very tasteless um, ad, a short video that he used as a as an advertisement, where he addresses Black History Month, and I'm gonna explain why after we watch it, why I feel his ad is more disrespectful than the word itself. Let's go. Mm. Mm. That is sick, bro. I did watch Crip's reaction too, and I, 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 I'm not gonna lie, I did have mixed feelings about it, but for the most part, I thought Crip did a decent job with his reaction. Why, bro? I'm not just gonna skim past it like it didn't happen, even though I would love to. I don't want to talk about this shit. I'm not cool with it. There was a point in time where I would be more understanding, but that was five plus years ago. I just hate that this happened, bro. It just feels so useless. You have such a broad vocabulary in all of your songs. I just don't get it. Yeah, I, I don't agree with, with, with Crip's take, but I respect it, though. I do respect it, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, let's go. I'll keep checking out the rest of the song, but man, that just... I hate that that happened. <laughs> Oh, we have a literal name drop. Well, I mean, they can have a couple of. Wait, wait, whoa, whoa. <laughs> wait, hold on. My man did a quadruple take. <laughs> okay, okay. I mean, listen, this is hip hop, okay? Um, And I see it. I hear it. I didn't hear it at first because, again, it's hip hop. I, it's, I'm used to specific words, you know, being put into place in, at certain times, right? Um, yeah, I don't care. This is hip hop. If you want people to stop using this word, guess what you should probably do? Not use the word in hip hop. Thank you. I don't agree with Mr. L. Boyd on a lot of things, but that is the one thing he and I can't agree on. Towards us, he's saying it towards Tom. But I, hey, why this nigga said the word so with this nigga sound like me? gonna triple by that. Oh, I can see it now. I can see niggas going crazy. Ain't nobody fucking with me. I'm McDonald, you Dennis the Menace looking ass nigga. You ain't got no bullets. It's illegal in your state killer. I'm a best on a Oh shoot. Oh shoot. Oh 
Oh shoot! <laughs> oh shoot! Okay. All right. We in here. All right. We in here. <laughs> come from and this man dropping in bombs <clears throat> oh my tom gotta respond to this bro mm -hmm. facts get it facts tom <laughs> got to respond to this and these are two individuals that we actually fuck with you feel what i'm saying these are two people we actually fuck with like yeah these are exactly you feel me like i actually these fuck with Church, that's what I'm saying. I do. I really fuck with up church. I just want to know where it's coming from. You know what I'm saying? I just want to know where it's coming from. Got no bullets. It's illegal in your state. Down south, we shooting guns all the time. All the time it's fun. legal in our backyard, letting it all. Da, 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 da. That's what we do. Hey, shout out to these bros right here. I like that they didn't they didn't dwell on the word. You know what I'm saying? They weren't tripping off the word. Yo, let's go. My man was like, bro, did, did, did that just happen? My man almost did the, the uh, Booker T. He didn't say that. Tell me. He did not just say that. <laughs> I'm just kidding, y'all. Let's go. Go and bring that back, man. <clears throat> we gonna bring that back. Holy. Holy. He made sure, A. Eh? I'm going to put the words on the screen. Oh, that's it. Anybody that wants smoke with up church for saying the N word, tell him holla at me. Hey, that's what's up. What's up? That's what's up. It's all good. That's my nigga. Nice. <laughs> Yo, I got love for up church, man. I got love for up church. Oh man, and it's just the word. And hear, like, hear what he's saying, though, right? People not peeping the context to what he's saying. That's why I'm loving the fact he has B Rad on the. Uh, what's that B Rad? I think that is B Rad from Malibu's most wanted on the screen, right? Yeah, I forgot um, the name of Jimmy Kennedy's name and. I was most wanted. I forgot it was similar to Eminem's character, like B Rabbit, B Rad. You know what I'm saying? They're pretty similar, pretty close. Anyway. He's saying it with the A to an N, like on some. It's comparable to a wigger or you just like a fronter or it's, it's blatantly to trigger a certain reaction, man. And I'm loving it. This is what battle rap is about, bro. Right? This is what battle rap is about. And what I'm also loving is. No subliminals. No, I'm going to say your name. Ain't no, oh, is, is this who he talking about? Not, oh, not, no. You, I'm cool. You out, right? This is crazy. I'm loving it. I'm loving, kudos to you, Up Church, man. This is some of the most entertaining content I've seen in a while. One of the best diss songs so far, and I'm only halfway through. That I've heard in a while. Like you, you doing damage right now. This is great.
<laughs> it wasn't even the <laughs> it wasn't even the Dennis uh Dennis the menace that got me. It was just the way he said nigga to me. That shit. Church is church just he just makes me laugh, bro. Like he's just a funny individual to me. Like church just you Dennis the menace looking ass nigga you have side heel billy heel billy holla boys ain't nobody fucking with me by the way blindsight uh this reaction to knox hill or blindsight's diss to the knox hill reaction coming soon y'all so stay tuned for that donald you Dennis the menace looking ass nigga you ain't got no bullets it's a well you Dennis the menace looking ass nigga you ain't got no hmm I mean interesting first off he name dropped Tom McDonald right so there's no sublims anymore he's inserting him directly into the conversation so he's saying that with his chest out what I don't understand though is dropping the n-word I mean I, I guarantee there's gonna be people in the comment section well it's a white guy on a white guy so it's not really this but but why it doesn't i don't know it doesn't sit right with me like all i can do is speak from personal experience right as you guys know i'm a white kid i grew up in an all-black county my best friend is black that's who i started rapping with when i go on tour later this year you'll see me and him together you know a lot of my circle and my people yeah i, I come from a black community so for me you know you talk about like street cred and sort of street passes like amongst my people sure i could say it but from my side of things, I never do say it. I never want to say it. I know it's a part of, of hip hop and so many people use it and I'm sure there'll be arguments down below about this. But for me, if you look at the history and you look at the roots of that word, it's such a divisive word. And you guys know here on my channel, I stand for uniting people. I stand for bringing people together. So something as divisive as that, I just, I, I don't see it because it doesn't, really makes sense for the bars that he's saying and what he's doing and for me i'm kind of disappointed in church it's almost like he's saying it because he knows he can get away with it in this sense because he's got such a loyal following and upbringing i'm sure there's going to be a lot of reactors that gaslight it or just like skim over that but for me i can't i can't just skim over that man i'm not uh, that's a shame that's a shame because I've, I've really been breaking this down in this diss and it's gonna it, it uh, why why man there's no need for it. There's no need for it. Church is a smart dude. He's a smart guy, man. I love so much of his music and what he does. I think he's such a talented MC. But yeah, I'm definitely, me personally, this is my opinion, and I'm not afraid to say it. I'm disappointed. Well, do you, you don't see the bigger picture? Tom's white. I'm calling him a Dennis the Menace. Looking ass nigga. Why is that? Who capitalizes off black community all the time? Off black and white violence all the time. And this is where we get into uh, Tom's very distasteful ad, in my opinion. So let's go ahead and get into it. Oh, the guy that has a song called White Boys. Daddy never made no mother crazy as the white. <laughs> And uh, Tom, you can't claim this video because that was only a brief cl uh, clip that was playing right there. And your voice, the sound was modified as well, so, yeah. Is the black dude in it? And plus, it's illegal! Is he a, is he one of the white boys? No, he's not. I seen a video earlier on YouTube Shorts, this guy, he said, bro, he said, look at what Tom McDonald is choosing to say to promote his song with Ben Shapiro during Black History Month. It's February 1st, so I wanted to say Happy Black History Month. To honor and support the black community, myself and Ben Shapiro are paying tribute to the historically black art form of hip hop by taking our new rap song, Facts, all the way to the number one spot on the Billboard charts. Do you support the black community? You don't, unless you download our new song, Facts, on iTunes before midnight tonight. So do you see what he did right there? 
he low key basically called rap and hip hop music black music. Who else referred to rap and hip hop music as black music? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So he basically supports that narrative. And he used Black History Month, right? <clears throat> and basically guilt and was trying to guilt trip people. You know what I'm saying? Who uh, who may not support the black culture to buy a song he did with a non-rapper who thinks he's a rap god, even though he only spit one verse. To get their song to number one. I mean, if you don't find that more disrespectful than the word nigga. I don't know what to tell you. That word, as far as I'm concerned, it's not even on the blip of the radar compared to what Tom just did. Anyway, let's get back into this. <clears throat> why you think I said, so why you sit on the fence, my language arts gun wrecked, holding infinite clips? Because I know what he's doing. He knows what he's doing. So let's see your reply, Dennis. Yeah, exactly. We can't talk the same. You got to tread lightly because you're a fence sitter, motherfucker. Big facts right there. All of us out here that are sick of the whole fucking drama shit, we ain't fence sitters. We may be on different sides of the fence, but at least we ain't sitting on the fence making each side of the fence fight. Mm-hmm. I'm on your ass, motherfucker. Speaking of fence sitters, even if my neighbor over there sits on the other side of the fence, the side that I don't, he's still my neighbor. Right? Still somebody I can count on. Right? Yo ass ain't even from this motherfucking country. Thank you. So what are you doing here? Fence sitting foreigner? Who is dressed up like an American being like, oh, I'm abandoning, um, I'm abandoning Canada. I I'm an American now. Why won't you rep Canada? What? What is this? You just gonna say fuck Canada? Come over here with your green card and be like, I'm an American, guys. Now look, I'm gonna sit on this fence and do things at places. Once again, I'm on your motherfucking ass. If you think I'm letting up, you smoking crack, buddy. Not to mention, you're a fucking undercover liberal motherfucker. Thank you. Thank you. And so are those hogbots too. Well, only, only, only Tom makes it less obvious than his hogbots. The hogbots, they outright out themselves. They snitch on themselves. Undercover liberal motherfucker. What, what's wrong with Canada, huh? Why can't you rep Canada? <clears throat> I'm just curious. Like, why never? And this is why I have more respect for artists like Mad Child. Who is also a Canadian rapper. Nothing wrong with that. But he now lives over here in California as well. Well last I checked he lives over here in California. Down in the LA area as well. But you don't see him. Pandering. Or spewing out propaganda. Why? Because he's not ashamed of who he is. And he's not ashamed of where he comes from. So yo shout out to Mad Child man. You never heard of Mad Child? Look him up man. That dude is dope. Over Canada and you're just like. You pop up and you're like. Guys, I'm a, I'm a I'm a gun-toting I'm a gun-toting red-blooded American that lives in the shit hole. You chew, you're a foreigner. Except in the song Facts where he said, "I don't push guns on anybody." Yes, you do. Yes, you do. And you and see, and see this really <clears throat> this really supports 
uh, what Church just said about Tom being a fence sitter. You know what I'm saying? How are you going to be pro 2A, defend the Second Amendment in a few songs, and then try to say, oh, I don't push guns on anybody. Basically, you're trying to make yourself look like now all of a sudden you're anti-gun. You can't be both. You cannot be both. You're either pro-gun or you're anti-gun. You can't be either or when it's convenient for you. This is another reason why I don't like Tom because he insults the intelligence of his listeners. It's like what Tupac said in his prison interview. Pay attention to the lyrics. Don't just bob your head to the beat and, and, and think that, oh, it's dope. No, listen to the words and ask yourself, is this real to you? Rest in peace to my man Tupac, man. One of my favorite rappers of all time. Let's go. You're choosing to live in fucking commie Los Angeles. LA do be one of the most liberal cities in California. I, I, I have to give that much to church. Yeah. None of your shit makes fucking sense. It, it really don't. If you listen to the lyrics, it really don't. It does if you if you note the fact that you're a fence sitting, shit starting, fake ass motherfucker. Facts. Which is why you won't let reaction pages make money off the reactions, because you're a stingy fuck. Thank you! Uh this is why I love church, man. Church be sticking up for us, man, the reactors, man. Uh and this is why I stay loyal to church, man, because <clears throat> he, he defends and speaks up for guys like me or reactors like me, I should say, because I, I know there's some lady reactors out there and I don't want them to feel excluded. But he he speaks up for us, the reactors who see he understands when we do our thing. Yet yeah, it blows us up because, <clears throat> you know, here we are reacting to an artist that we agree with a, a good majority of a good chunk of folks like, yeah, this guy is dope. I agree. So yeah, let me introduce him to my audience. It's free marketing, free promotion. You don't have to pay us nothing. YouTube is supposed to take care of us when it comes to that. I'm just saying. <clears throat> and you know, and then you go and and you claim our videos adding to the millions of dollars that you already have. Which is why I always give Tom shit by saying, "Oh, well, he must need that money more than I do because maybe he's not making as much money as he was before." Because, as Church will mention soon enough, we're all waking up. We're all waking up and realizing what's really going on here when it comes to Tom and the Hog Fam. I'm just saying. Anyway. <clears throat> and hey, don't be mad at me that I'll say shit that everybody's thinking because my balls are bigger than fucking grapefruits. That is facts. I can't deny that. <clears throat> Who's the? Who is the only kind of person in the world... Who don't really have a homeland because they just roam around fucking people shit up for no reason. <clears throat> oh, wait. Who did you do a song with recently? Ben Shapiro? Oh, okay. Who is... Ben Shapiro's a what? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Uh I mean, what are you going to say? Are you serious? Are you serious right now? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> are, are you serious right now? <laughs> That's why I love church, man. Church... church Say, this is a real one, man. One thing I forgot to mention too. <clears throat> another reason why I'm so low to this dude is because he's helped me out before in the past. <clears throat> I was blanking on the name because I was on um, Jay the Rednecks, aka Jay from Thursday Night Records uh, podcast, and um, I was trying to bring up a, a point that uh, you know that Church uh, popped up into a, a premiere that I did. Where and this was when he was beefing with another YouTuber who goes by the name of Heavy Duty Country, and uh, Church actually popped into my chat during the live premiere when I was reacting to him um, clowning on Heavy Duty Country, and gave me and I'm not gonna d the the um, disclose the amount, but he hooked me up with it with a very generous dono, you know what I'm saying that he didn't have to do, you know what I'm saying because at the end of the day who am I to Church I'm I'm nobody, you know what I mean. Not capping on myself, or just I'm. I'm just saying, in connection with church, you know what I mean. I'm nobody to him. I'm not. I'm not family. You know what I mean. Um, I'm not his friend or anything like that. 
But the fact that my man took his took time out of his life to pop up into my live premiere, right? Hooked me up with a very generous dono and actually hung out a little bit, talked with talked with me, you know what I'm saying? And brought the Creek Squad fam in with him to support your boy. You know what I'm saying? That man, I'm about to tear up. Um, that to me meant the world. You know what I'm saying? That made my year. That was two years. No, 2024. That was three years ago. That was three years ago. I'll never forget it. You know what I mean? But before that, right around the time when I first started doing reactions, which was around the end of 2019, beginning of 2020, I'll never forget. It was around February of 2020. I received an email because when I first started doing reactions, I, I started reacting to church's music and I was feeling it. You know what I'm saying? And dude, I get a notification, an email notification that dude subscribed to my channel. And this was when I was really, really off the radar. I only had maybe like a triple digit sub count at the time. You know what I'm saying? But man, I'll never forget it. I'll never forget. It. He first he subscribes to my channel. And then the following year, 2021, he pops up in my, my live premiere. You know what I'm saying? Hangs out in my chat. Hooks me up with a generous dono. You know what I'm saying? And um, he's commented on some of my reactions too. You know? So for someone like him to take time out of his life to interact with someone like me, yo. Yo. That, to me, that, that, that spoke volumes. You know what I'm saying? And that hit me right here. Like, I felt that 100%. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man. Yeah. I will I will always support this man 100%. You know what I mean? Let's go. Yeah, I am. And unlike Tom, see, and here's another thing, too. Every reaction that I do from church, it's not claimed. And even when it does get claimed, all I got to do is, is, you know, do a dispute. And guess what? Church will white light my reactions. I even done... Up church remixes where I took some of his beats and I made original songs with them. I even did a a a, a remix where me and him are collabing on an extended version of the song Gas. And he white lighted that. See, this goes to show the kind of person that church is. And like I said, I will always stay loyal to this dude. I will always stay loyal to Creek Squad. You know what I'm saying? Creek Squad, baby, all day, every day. R-H-E-C, raise hell, eat cornbread, baby. Let's go. He ain't from here. Where's his Canadian mask? Where's his Canadian pride? Facts. Mr. Mr. I'm a redneck with the white voice, with the white toys, with the white toys. You live in Los Angeles, bro. It's nothing against California people. It's something against Los Angeles. You live You live in LA in a gated community. With your uh, tattooed face, Takashi six nine looking ass. In Los Angeles, bro. None of your shit makes sense. Nope. You've been fourteen different fucking people since you got your damn green card or whatever and came over here. Facts, like I said in a past video, in regards to Tom, I've said it. He did uh, rap and hip hop. He did alternative rock. He did punk rock. He did country music, and now he's trying to do country rap. What's next, Tom? Are you going to do pop music next? Hmm? Are you going to do heavy metal next? You don't know who you are. You left Canada. You have ditched Canada. You ditched your Canadian roots and try to promote yourself. As this Americana white boy. You know what I mean? That's supposed to be all pro America. Fake ass Captain America looking ass. And you're trying to portray yourself as a redneck? A country redneck? No. You're not that. See, you're 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 so transparent, so see through. It's unbelievable, dude. You don't realize that you self-snitch. You don't realize that hog fam. 
your hawk bots have also snitched you out as to how you roll, how you operate. Mr. Freedom of Speech. You, you're you taking away people's freedom of speech on your fucking YouTube channel. Facts. He keeps taking our money even though it's illegal because it's transformative work. For having a different opinion than you. That sounds like communism, motherfucker. Facts. I want to help the American people. Stop blocking reactors from making money, you stink. Yeah, start, stop starving us. If that's true, Mr. Pro-Americana that wants to help the American people, stop starving us. Fingy fuck. Fake Facts. ass. Facts. But hey, that's okay. That's okay. Because people got eyeballs. People got ears. True. True. Once you say stuff, people say, they think to themselves, oh, and they start watching. Now look, everybody's about to watch you super duper try to make this, make everything seem normal. Like, oh no, he just, guys, yeah, motherfucker, no, 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 no. Americans are getting smarter, motherfucker. Everybody's waking up. We, we know that the, the industry is infiltrated by you motherfuckers. Who are fence sitting motherfuckers? See what you don't understand is everybody's opening their eyes and they don't care if somebody sits on the other side of the fence and it's a different kind of yard. As long as you're not a fence sitter, we cool with you. You, you a fence sitter, we ain't cool with you. Yeah, checkmate motherfucker, what are you gonna do? You've been walking around your house for three days, I don't know what to do. What am I gonna say? I've been wearing the costume of someone just like him, even though it's not true. And I've been a fence sitter, and I've been working this whole thing together to build this image that's about to crumble when everybody's eyes open to see what I'm doing. Even if they didn't, motherfucker, you can't fucking outwrap me, and you don't know nobody that can outwrap me neither. You know, I, I leave them. I thought you would at least have some sort of reply by now. The fact that you don't lets me know you fucking suck at fucking rapping. Did I not call it? Did I not call it? Like I said, battle rap part of the game. It comes with the territory. If you can't handle it, if you can't do it, you're not built for it. You fucking suck. Facts. That's why you make a video to everything. He's like, look, guys, look, don't notice all the words, because my words don't mean jack shit. Facts. So you dress up like 6 9 motherfucker. <laughs> ah, he said, man, you look like 6 9 <laughs> Bro, ouch, ouch. You can't out-rap me. Nobody you know can outwrap me, nope. and that's all there is to it. And by the way, we're still waiting for um, for Nova to take your pair out of her purse so she, she can give them to you. I will take on every motherfucking body that has your back. Facts. And again, he's proving it. And Creek Squad has proven it. Again, shout out to Creek Squad. You know what I'm saying? Bruh. Let's go. I will take on everybody. One on one. I will take on everybody. And I will slay every fucking one of y'all. My man spits the facts. Let's go. And look, let me tell you something, bro. Last thing I'm going to say. You want to know what's wrong with this country? Nothing. You want to know what's starting to be wrong with this country? Motherfuckers being team switchers and fence sitters. When 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 shit starts getting under attack, everybody's like, "Oh no, I'm not associated with that." Yeah, well, that's what's wrong with you, motherfuckers. We don't need we don't need team switchers and all this other shit for what? What have people been saying to me uh, this past week? Well, you're gonna lose views over this. First off, I don't give a fuck if I do. You know why? I ain't a team switcher. I'm fighting for the same motherfucking team until until I can't fight no more. Who's my team? The South, bro. People like me, black, white, Mexican, gay, 
straight south side people that's up church bro uh, let's go let's go in church you will always be my familiar man let's go does it mean i dislike you if you ain't south no it just means i i don't i won't die for your team it's your job to die for your team. I'm dying for my team, bro. I'm not switching my team up. And look, what people like oh Thomas, oh Hummus Thomas, have fucking proven is that people will switch sides for numbers. Yep. He is not wrong. He, he's not wrong. Everything he's saying is all facts. I ain't switching for no motherfucking numbers. You know, see, at the end of the day, it's not about the numbers. You know what I'm saying? Is it nice to have the numbers? Sure. But it's not about that. It's about being true to yourself, being, you know, your true self, keeping it real, keeping it a thousand. That's what it's all about. Why? Because these roots actually do run deep. Hey, if that hurts your feelings, oh well, motherfucker. What do you mean do? Get a time machine and, and be born out of a vagina somewhere else? Like Candace Owens says, get a helmet because life is just tough sometimes. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. You can't handle being out in the real world. You can't ha handle it when people are being real to you. Go get a helmet. Go stay sheltered up, coddled up somewhere because hey, li life is... Life ain't always fair. Life is tough. The real world is tough. So buckle up, buttercup, because you in for the wild ride of your life. I'm just saying. Nah, I'm a ride or die, motherfucker. I would rather die than ride out and be somewhere else. And I hope... Let's go, church. Let's go. Hope everybody else feels that about their community. About their region, north, south, east, or west. America. Canada. Since we obviously see Canada's people run elsewhere and don't claim their actual team. <laughs> but it is what it is. I don't care about numbers. I care about morals. I care about being real. And I care about being a warrior, motherfucker. That's it. If you don't like that, well, chances are you're not a warrior. P.S. I ain't lost no views or listeners. They've gone up tremendously. So keep sitting on that fence, boy. Yeah, boy. So anyways, y'all, that was um, Church talking his shit, and rightfully so. And that comes to us courtesy from my man Chill Rock. Go check out the homie uh, Chill Rock, you know what I'm saying? Um, I myself am going to look into more of his content, because, uh, yo, so far, man, I, I, I like that. I appreciate the fact that my man shared this video. Now, earlier in the... In the Towards the top of the video, I said I was going to give my take, and I kind of spoiled my take um, as to where I stand with the N-word. More specifically, the soft A-word. Um, <clears throat> it is not my place to judge others for using the word, and I say that because, as some of you may know, if you've been, those of you who've been following me for a good minute, I told you guys, hey, look, I grew up on the east side of San Jose, California. You know what I'm saying? In the hood. The M word was, at that time, part of my language. It was also part of the language of my homies that I kicked it with back in the day. You know what I'm saying? Which was a very diverse group of people. I mean, hell, we were like the third street saints from Saints Row. Some of us were Asian. Some of us were black. Some of us were white. Some of us were Mexican, like your boy here. You know what I'm saying? And, yeah, we threw that word out like, like, you know, I mean, hey, look, it was it was another way for us to call each other homies. Like, yo, what up, my nigga? How, how you doing, man? Hey, what's good, my nigga? How you doing? That was part of our everyday speech. We never looked at it as a racial thing, a racist thing. We all grew up listening to rap and hip hop music. We looked at it as it being a rap and hip hop thing. That's what it was for us. Nowadays, me being an older man, I don't use that word anymore. Not because of what, not because, you know, I'm afraid of what others might think, you know what I mean? Or because I'm insecure about it or whatever. No, it's just, 
I choose for myself for that word to no longer be a part of my language. But that's my choice. That's a choice I made on my own. Nobody else made that choice for me. All right? So, I would be a hypocrite if I were to criticize someone like church to use that word. And that's why I didn't say much about it in my reaction. You know what I mean? I didn't make a big deal about it. Even though, yes, there was a jump cut there. And that was because I was hesitating. Like, should, should I give my take then and there? Or should I not dwell on it? I chose not to dwell on it. I chose to interpret that lyric how I wanted to. And again, that was my choice. And then I moved on. <clears throat> my thing is, at the end of the day, it's just words. And words, and what have I always said in the past, and I will say it again here now, words have only as much power as you choose to give them. And you can view that word as a negative, or you can view it as a positive. And like Mr. L. Boyd said in his reaction, if you have a problem with somebody you using that word, then guess what word you should not be using as part of your language? Because really at the end of the day, is that word truly more offensive than what Tom McDonald did to advertise his song that he did with Ben Shapiro? You see how he used Black History Month and black people to advertise his track to get his song number one again explain to me how that's not more offensive than the soft A word it is what it is at the end of the day guys but anyway that's pretty much where, where I stand with all this it's just my take you know take it for what it is you know what I'm saying anyone finds offense to it oh well like Candace always says Life is hard. The world is tough. Get a helmet. It is what it is. All right, y'all. Pretty much all I got to say. Okay, I want to make sure I gave uh, Chill Rock a thumbs up on this video because I do like this video. I do appreciate him sharing this. You know what I'm saying? I uh, appreciate all the reactors, you know what I'm saying, who gave their input, whether they're in favor of Church saying what he said or not. Either way, I respect both viewpoints. You know what I mean? Because like Church said, at least they're not fence sitters. I myself am not a fence sitter. You know what I mean? I gave my input. All right, y'all. Pretty much all I got to say. Um, don't forget, um, for anyone who, who is interested, we got merch listed down below. You know what I'm saying? Um, if you're not interested, like I said, it's all good. Um, I still got love for y'all either way. If you're feeling the vibes here, don't forget to like comment and of course share and of course subscribe as well shout out to everyone that's been doing all those things much love appreciate each and every single one of you great white gang Cree squad fam it's your boy jason jv and y'all take care have a blessed one i catch y'all next one peace jason jv on youtube uh what's up with you jason jv what up jason jv just sending love, peace, and blessings to you. JC, you are my homeboy, my guy. Don't call me guy, pal. Don't call me buddy, pal. Much love to you, JV. Chris Calico. Cali, baby. Oh. What's up, G? My name is Jimmy Badger. I'm one half of the next new one.